One, two, three, and. Um, so I'm really late on this July favorites train, um, but I'm glad I'm doing it now because I have quite a few things I've been loving that I want to share with you guys. So starting off with a thrifted item, of course, I have this crop top. And I believe this was 50 cents and I definitely got my money's worth out of it because I've been wearing it a lot on off days. It doesn't look like much. It may in fact look hideous with the color combinations, the green, red, blue, white, and yellow. Um, but it's really comfortable and very, very flattering with high-waisted denim trousers or a high-waisted skirt. So I've been really loving this piece a lot. Next favorite wasn't thrifted, but it was a thrifty price tag. Um, these are a pair of Miu Miu inspired sunglasses. And I did a blog post about this and them being an exact dupe to the Miu Miu ones. And I think it was from 2012's eyewear collection. I'm not sure, but I have been wanting a pair of these style Miu Miu glasses, but not wanting to pay the 300 some odd dollars that they actually cost. So I got these off GoJane and they're only about nine bucks and they're still available if you like the shape. I love the shape. It's like a misshaped pentagon. Here are my Miu Miu knockoff sunglasses. So I'm a definite coconut fanatic so I have something coconut and edible to share with you that I've been loving. I discovered these I think last month. They're just dried up coconut strips already bagged and ready to eat and they're really delicious and you can make your own trail mix. It's very very good so here's my coconut love affair. So there's that. Now on to the fun beauty items. Um, I've been using this soap and I just bought a new one because I really like it a lot. It's by Nubian Heritage and it's their Shea Butter Soap with Lavender and Wildflowers. And it's really nice. I use it to get my makeup off at night. It's really effective with that. Unless I do like a heavy eye look, then I first use coconut oil to sort of break it down. But the ingredients are really great too. At first, when you buy a fresh bar, it does smell of lavender, but as you wet it and use it, it gets more of a, a really nice, clean, fresh, like juniper smell. So the lavender goes away and you just smell juniper. So it's a really nice soap. Juniper is not even one of the ingredients, I don't think. No, it's essential oil blend, so it could be in there. But that's what I smell. And these soaps are really cheap. I think they're three bucks or less than that. And I have never tried a Nubian heritage soap that I didn't like. So here's my latest find from them. I really love this soap. Next delectable item to use in the bath is by Giovanni. It's the hot chocolate sugar scrub. And for getting your feet all nice and soft for sandals, this is what I've been using. And if you've ever tried this or if you pick it up, it's going to be hard not to eat it because it's chocolatey goodness, but it's an exfoliating scrub and it's called hot chocolate and it's really odd because when you apply it to the skin, you can feel that it warms up as you rub it in. But I've been using this to exfoliate my feet to make it nice and soft for sandals. The best part about it is the smell. It is very chocolatey, like, mmm, like a hot chocolate powder. Don't try to taste it though because the taste won't come true to the smell. I didn't taste it on purpose. It accidentally got into my mouth. Favorite nail polish for July? I've been living in this stuff. It's by Revlon and it's called Fearless. And I won't show you a close-up now because my nails aren't close-up ready. But here is this gorgeous red by Revlon. Favorite fragrance for this past July is by Royal Apothic, and it's called Dogwood Blossom. And this bottle is absolutely beautiful, and the perfume is nice also. So um, this lid is gorgeous. It's a ceramic dogwood, 
And even though it doesn't snap in place, it still fits securely, so that works. Um, but I think most people would see this as um, winter, fall, winter months fragrance, but I've been wearing it anyway. It's It's got all the notes I love. It's tobacco-y and it's got ginger and honey in there and um, warm amber and tonka bean. So it's really reminiscent of a scent for colder months, but I've been loving it for July. And uh, depending on how much you spritz, I usually do two. It stays close to the skin. And my last favorite's kind of random. It's a song that I heard originally on the Valentino Fall Winter runway show. And it's by June Miyake called Lilies of the Valley. And it's just a hip song that's got like a good jive. I don't know why those words come to mind, but they do. It's different. It's pretty popular, so you probably already heard it. Um, I wish I could play it for you, but... Uh, there's those copyright infringement deals, so I'll just put a link below so you can check it out if you're interested. But yeah, that's been a really cool song, kind of uplifting. Um, so yeah. So those are my favorites for July. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I have a blog as well if you'd like to see more of me. Aww. Um, I'll leave my blog and other links below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.